Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungo Collects. Now I haven't done this for ages lately, I'm, I haven't, um, I'm really plugged some of our social media. So before we start our £2 coin hunt, looking for hopefully some super duper coins that are worth more than £2 and to go in our album uh, with a bit of luck, I just need to talk about our social medias. So we're on Facebook, um, Bungo Collects Coins, or you can send me a friend request at Archie Roberts. We're on Instagram, uh, Bungo underscore Collects. We're on TikTok. Um, I assume that'll be like Bungo Collects, I'm not quite sure, but we're on TikTok anyway. Uh, where else are we on? Twitter, at Bungo Coins. I think that's it. Is that everything? I think so. I think so. We've got an email, so if you want to drop us an email, bungocollects at gmail.com. And also we've got a PO box so right down here if you want to get in touch with us, send us a letter, a poem, a postcard, something for the Bungo Collects Magic Studio wall. It's Bungo Collects, PO Box 1077, Stockton on Tees, TS191ZA. Is everything? Oh, you can also become a member of the channel for 99 pence a month and get an exclusive uh, members only live stream on the first of every month at 7 pm. And we do a giveaway exclusively for members as well. Uh, and you get emojis and all that kind of jazz. I think that'll do, won't it? Will that do as a plug? Mm -hmm. Right, okay. This is our two pound book. This is Ellie's book. My book's been well, well filled. Ellie needs Commonwealth Games Wales. And she needs a Navy Centenary with a flag error. The writing around this uh, this £2 coin is the right way up. Mine was the opposite way around. Doesn't add any value to it. Just a bit of a variant, something a little bit exciting. Uh, a little bit interesting or a little bit different, I guess. Different. Different, yes. isn't it, to, uh, to do. Uh, but yes, I'm really keen to get that filled. And hopefully this £2 ba bag of... Fifth, no, £2 bag. Yeah, £2 bag. It is a £2 bag, 500 quid in it. <laughs> From here, drop rock hard, cap Northern Cash Centre, 19th of the second, 21. Hopefully in here is going to be the coin that will end it all, which will be Commonwealth Games Wales. So, Lady M, it's time to roll the titles and let's get into it. That was a two minute waffle on that, Lady M. Two minutes, probably yeah. forever. Did it. Well, most important, I also forget to plug the, the, the channel memberships and, and our social media and things like that. I thought we'd change the channel to Jack and Ari. I tell you what, the other thing as well, I haven't explained the map for a while. And I tell you what else I forget to do as well, I forget to say about please subscribe to the channel and put a like on the video and leave comments and turn on the notification bells. So please subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Put a like on this video, that's a thumbs up, let us know you care. Uh, turn on that, press that bell and turn on the notifications so you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. Um, is that it? Is that everything? Sounds good to me. So I, I was going to explain the math. So this math has every commemorative £2 coin, so every £2 coin with a, with a bit of picture on it, on here. And the rarest is at the top, with the exception of uh, Northern Ireland, which is right down here next to the Bungle logo. And that's the uh, first one. That's a um, Florence Nightingale. And we've ranked them in gold, silver and bronze finds, according to Mintage. And that is a that doesn't make the podium. This uh, this one because it's got a mintage of six million one hundred and seventy five thousand, and it's only worth two squid. So that's what we do. And if you get any plum finds, they go in the plum find section, or any oddities or anything like that. They go on the uh, on the side. Any fakes, any territory coins, anything that really tickles our fancy. And that was an out for me. Oh, and I'll tell you what I was going to do. Finally, finally Come on. Uh, I was going to talk less. Whoa. Because it seems that uh, a few people recently have mentioned how much I, uh, how much I talk. Behave yourself. So I was going to talk a little bit less. Nah, don't bother. I'm going to try anyway. You're checking. Why did you tell us what you were doing there, Lady M? I was checking for rotation errors. Okay, why is that? Because... There are some of the 2015 that are coming out with rotation errors on them. Why is one talking like this? I don't know, you started it. There's a, there's a Lord Kitchener, and this says about uh, lamps going out all over Europe. 5,720,000, so it's not worth any more than two squid. Yes, they're also on the 2014. You've seen the 2014. Oh, right, okay. No, we sent it to uh, Lindsay Nairn, didn't we? As part of the deal. Oh, for the, was that a 2014? That was 2014. Let's see. It is. And in theory, any two pound coin could have a rotation on. It's worth yeah. checking every single one for a little error or the wrong rotation. So, uh, and or any kind of oddity, if you like. Mm. Worth, uh, worth a little look. If you can be bothered. No. Maybe M cannot be bothered. He's mm. like a lot of potential oddities. Some of these are I've got double die on verses, so it looks as though it's been double stamped on the lettering. That's a 2010 Technologies. 
Not that one though, if you ever find one, I'll probably explain in more detail exactly what a double die is. Or I'll try to anyway. Next commemorative, which is one of the Shakespeare's, is the uh, tragedies. What piece of work is in there? Where is that one gone? There it is. We know there's an edge inscription error. We have found one of them with the wrong mm. edge inscription around the outside. And we look, check all the 2016s for the self same thing. There's a Rugby World Cup, it's a bronze find, 4,933,000. Still only worth two quid though, if you ask me. No, ask anyone. <laughs> Although I suppose, oh, I'm talking less, aren't I? But anyway, I'll just say this. Yeah, yeah. I suppose it's worth what people are prepared to pay for it, aren't they? Absolutely. And if you get a nice condition one and you really want it for your album or whatever, your date run, Ooh. then uh, I guess well, you might pay a little bit more than two pounds, but I wouldn't. Right, Trinity Lighthouse is serving the Mariner. That's a silver find, 3,705,000. Marconi. Oh, that is a wireless bridge of the Atlantic. And I think once you're into the silver finds, you could be looking at maybe, you might get three pounds for that. Does anyone care about how much we think they, how much you think they're worth? I don't know. I'm not sure. Do you? I am. I just think it's, oh, it's, okay, then. it's interesting, isn't it? That's all that matters then. Dinosaur next door. Uh, uh, Charles Dickens. Something will turn up. Quite a shiny one, that one, considering. It's a 2012. Oh, that is shiny, yeah. Not in bad condition. Like these 2015 technologies, which haven't been in circulation long, if you ask me. Mm. Yeah. one we don't find very often. That's uh, sat on the top there. It's a nice condition. That that is. Is. Yeah. Might keep that for the date run. Yeah. Is it the right wheel? It is the right wheel. Oops. Oh. Well, good catch. God. So I might put that in Ellie's. Uh, That's not a bad condition, St Paul's either. I might put it in Ellie's, uh, in Ellie's book, swap it out. Tiny. Remind me because I'll forget. In fact, I'm going to put it up here in the plum find section just to remind me to do that. Otherwise, right. I'll just put it back into circulation. I think this is the one that we don't find very often. There's one we call Tron Helmets. Yeah, we were just talking yeah, about that. Army pals. We were just talking about that in the last uh, in the last two pounds, haven't they, Right. Um, it has got the correct edge inscription. And that we don't country. we don't see that many considering how high the uh, yeah. mintage figures is nine million five hundred and fifty thousand. Um, and yes, yeah, I think they're in storage waiting waiting to come out. Yeah. Either that or they'll adjust the mintage figure like they did for the Great Fire of London that went from like. Over five million to just over a million and a mm -hmm. half. But I just think there is a long store because the Royal Mint announced that uh, they weren't going to make any more for four years, uh, ten years. There's another one, another Tron helmets, another Maybe army centenary. Trickling out now. Yeah, there's quite a few shiny ones in this, isn't it? Here's another shiny one. Oh, there is indeed is another one. Not in very nice condition. This mine's got a few chips out the edge. Mm -hmm. Guy Fox. Oh, there's a. I think it's that one, and I can't remember. I wish I'd remembered the. Um, remember the exact detail. Mm -hmm. but I was on a Facebook group, and a guy who has a, some links to the Royal Mint is in that group and confirmed there's an error on there on one of them. Mm -hmm. and it's not. Uh, I think it was that one. And it's not uh, remember, remember, or remember, remember. Mm -hmm. The wrong edge inscription was completely on the wrong on the outside, oh, and right. it was confirmed as a by the mint as an error. Mm. I can't remember. I think it was that coin, and I can't remember what the edge is. can't remember, remember. No, I can't remember, remember, remember. Mm. So if anyone knows what I'm on about, um, please That's do let me know in the comments. So was it was it that coin? Ooh, was, look at that shiny ooh, beauty. Yeah. Was it the edge inscription? And if so, what edge inscription, what was, what was the error? That'd be lovely if that had a rotation mm. error. I'm afraid it does not. Oh, just, just put that on the plum okay. finds. That is super shiny, that one. We'll just, uh, I might just consider keeping that one because it is so shiny. Oh, it's a 2015. The Brunel Arches. Must have had five in that bag there. Oh, it's many. There's so many items on the fire. Another Tron Helmets. Wow. It's hard to get in any, and then we get lots of them. 
Ah, they're beginning to surface. That's a nice condition. Oh, it is. Um, Actor Union as well. Yeah. How shiny that is. It is very good. I mean, how old's that? Now is it 2007, this one? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So what's 14 years old? Come That's on. a nice nick, that. United into One Kingdom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that one in the thumb section mm. as well. What do you make of that coin? I was gonna. <laughs> I was gonna <laughs> nice prize. I was gonna steal the, the last <sighs> bag. Funny. So the act of the abolition of the slave trade. Am I not a man and a brother? <laughs> wow. Damn. Damn, son. What you pull a Commonwealth out now? Uh, I'm afraid. Stealing the my best bag. I'm probably gonna do. It's a Bruno the portrait. Oh well, that's okay. We've um, completed a little mini set. Oh, yes, that one. Having to buy the old Brunel, the 2006 yes. Brunels. And that. Is it? Well, I'll tell you what's quite cool as well. If you if you put them in, we've completed the whole bottom oh, row. Yeah. Don't do that very often, do we? It's normally no. the Tron helmet yeah. that let us down. Absolutely. Well, that's uh, I enjoy that hunt considering there's so few finds. Yeah. I think we'll have to show everybody the shiny helmet. Crew. <laughs> what do we like that for? What are you talking about? Good. There we go. I'm going to call that. That's what, that's what I'm going to call the episode. Shiny helmets. Come and shine, no. Helmet crew. No, not so happy. Not, not so happy with helmet crew, to be honest with you. A bunch of helmets. <laughs> A gaggle of helmets. A murder of helmets. <laughs> A crash of helmets. A parliament of um, helmets. Don't know. Anyway, I'm waffling right on now. Quite. So there we go. Four shiny helmets. Uh, that will be the the thumbnail. Is anyone missing face cam? Is anyone missing that? We uh, we haven't done. We did face cam for a bit, and we kind of abandoned it for a little bit. Is anybody missing that? Do let us know in the comments. Um, and you're not. No, Lady M doesn't have to get a do done. Yeah. Um, and, on. and am I right? Is there an error? Is there an edge inscription error on the uh, on the guy Fox? Please do let me know in the comments. Right, we're all done. Please do consider subscribing. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.